Hey guys, <laughs> Dave here from Funky Food with Dave. Today is August, hold on a second. Ninth. August 8th. Oh, sorry, wrong day. 2022, Monday. Ah. So today is our taste test Monday. I uh, hope everybody's doing well. It's another hot, sticky, humid, disgusting day here. <laughs> it is hot, but you know what? And I don't say this too often, I'll take this over the snow. That's how much I it's actually pretty crazy because the um, the air conditions have been cranking for quite a while. Too long. But one of our big ones, I think, is literally like, okay, I'm a little friggin' tired here. That one over there. Yeah. Yeah, I think so too. Um, I uh, checked my pepper plants today. First year I've ever grown uh, ghost peppers. I have five plants, and there's 32 peppers on those five plants. It's very so exciting. I'm hoping. Um, they all make it and then I'm going to take some of those I just need anybody that out there that does peppers I want to take some of those uh, peppers and take the seeds to redo for next year so if you guys have any suggestions on that let me know how to do that um, again today is taste test Monday so at the end of the video if you like this video please hit the like button share subscribe and hit the notification bell and today's product was sent to us by Scott Michael who um, is a good friend of the channel and we're su subscribed to his channel so check him out Scott Michael um, he sent this sauce here it's called Garbanero sauce a garlic and habanero saute simmer splash and dip sauce it's garlic habanero sweet red pepper and lime juice it's a product of tropical Costa Rica um, we'll see the ingredients are water, garlic 14%, red habanero 10%, onion, sweet red pepper, cornstarch, cane sugar, vinegar, salt, soybean oil, lime juice, ascorbic acid, and carmine for color. Um, and the exotic flavors of the, the world collection. We scoured the globe for exotic flavors for these new cooking sauces so that you can shine in the kitchen. Just open and pour on whatever you're cooking up makes a great marinade and is good on the grill. It's abundant garlic base and other savory ingredients give this versatile sauce its original and celebrated flavor. It says it's good for chicken, beef, pork, seafood, pizza, tofu, veggies, cook on the stove, grill, oven, boiler, or microwave. So it pretty much says it's good for everything. Um, so we're gonna try and get this open here. I forgot my knife. Let's see if I can pop this. Get these glasses off. Look like a dork. Give it a shake. It sounds good. And I was working on a new recipe today. I got two sauces I'm going to be working on. Oh my god, honey, smell that. Paul's back is a little oh, messed up. Today. Hold on. Mmm. <laughs> smell good. Definitely smell the garlic. Oh, I'm, oh, and I love garlic. Oh, you're a huge. You should have done this sauce because you're a huge girl. Paula. I mean, I can eat loves like garlic. cloves <laughs> of garlic. So, yeah, this. Ooh, well, <laughs> that is some garlic in there. Uh, yeah, so one of the sauces I'm going is on the tropical series, the tropical smooth, tropical heat, tropical fire, and the next one's going to be tropical extreme. That should give you a hint on that one. And then I have a seasonal blueberry sauce we're working on. Oh, and big news, we two weeks, right? Two weeks? Yeah. We have our first uh, festival where we're going to be set up as 802 Heat. Very excited. Let me shake that up again. It looks like it's separated. It separates really quick. It settles, I should say. So I can get that right on there. definitely see the oil on it that smells good it's a chunky sauce but it's it, it's kind of a thinner sauce oh that smells good Very garlicky. See, ooh. Got a bite, that habanero. Which 
you like to taste a little bit? Yeah, but are you thinking vinegar? Because your face yeah. is like this. And you know, <clears throat> and you know how I feel about vinegar. As you notice, Dave gave me an itty bitty. Well, it's got a bite to it, honey. Now I can see it making a really good marinade. Oh my God, that's yummy. Spicy. Holy crap, and I had peppermint gum. Oh my lanta. I think you like this sauce better than I do. Yeah. Fiber. Now, I can see that making a great marinade. I have a couple ideas for that. You could burn that uh, vinegar flavor off. And still get the garlic and that habanero fla flavor. Ooh, that's it. I want to do that with chicken wings. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm. Yeah, I can see that working. Um, anyways, I can give it a, a solid oh, a solid. Can I have one. another one? Want another? Mm -hmm. It's a solid one for heat. I'm not going to do much. Oh, for me, it's more than that. See? That's what I can handle. But if I mix it with wings. It's a solid one for heat for me. What is it for you? Probably a three? A four. That was really? Say. Yeah. It definitely is like... But it's got that, I love garlic so much, oh, and it's got those really oh, yummy tastes that it makes me want to have more. Totally hot. go all over that with chicken wings. It's hot in here. That's not me sweating because of that. It's just hot in here. We had to shut the fans off here because it picks up on the camera. Plus, we have the ACs on. So, yeah, it's more a little warm but, here. Uh, definite garlic. You get that garlic, like, right off, and you get the habanero. Then that vinegar comes in a little too strong for me. On a flavor scale, that second bite, the vinegar wasn't mm. as powerful. Flavor scale for me, it's a six. I love the chunkage in there, the bits of garlic, the bits of habanero. Well, there's something there that I taste, and I'm trying to figure out what it is. get the onion and the bell pepper. Lime? Yeah, it might be the lime it's, that kind yeah. of comes out right at the end. Yeah. Yep. And which is kind of weird is that vinegar is quite a ways down on the list. But boy, that really comes out strong for me. But I would give it a six for flavor scale and a solid one for heat. Scott, yeah. thank you. That's yum. I can, that, yeah, chicken. Any I'm going to go nuts with my chicken with that. Any type of chicken. Chicken wings, chicken on the grill. Yeah, I definitely like chicken that. breast. Actually, that's what uh, we're having tomorrow. So. Oh, so we are? We're having chicken breast. I can see that on pork. Mm -hmm. On a good, uh, a good uh, tenderloin on the grill. Yeah. Have that sit in it for a few hours and then put it right on there and just keep basting that. <laughs> yeah. That's good sauce. You know, yeah, I think a six is a fair, fair grade for me. What would you give it? I really like it, so I'm going to say eight, <clears throat> yeah. eight, nine. I, that, I can tell that's like going to be my favorite. Yeah. You're a big garlic person. So, but uh, yeah, so again, that's the uh, the garbanero sauce. Garlic, habanero, sweet red pepper, and lime juice. That's what it is. It's the lime juice that gets me. Hashtag try it on wings. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to try it on wings. We're going to try it on chicken. We're going to get a pork roast, a uh, pork yeah. tenderloin. And I'm gonna put that on it, wrap it in it, and then put it on the grill. That'll, that'll be good on a pork tenderloin. Actually, my grade might actually go up after we cook it, maybe to cook off some of that vinegar. Flavor. Yeah, see, I don't taste the vinegar. Uh, oh, see, I do. But, anyways, um, again, so today was our taste test Monday, and we did the garbanero sauce, which was sent to us by Scott Michael. Mm -hmm. uh, he sent us a few other things, and in return, we sent him a box. And. Let's say Monday, so we'll see you guys back Wednesday for another taste test, which I'm trying to think. I have some ideas for taste test Wednesday. Uh, funky Food Friday, I guess, something I can, I'm can. i going to try. Go get it funky. <laughs> um, yeah, so we're just making up sauces. We made up sauces, and we got our first big event this uh, two weeks from this coming week, right? Two weeks from yep, this week. Yeah, so we're very excited. So that's going to be our first big one. And then we got, what, four or five after that? Yep. To the fall. So hopefully we do well on that and we can make more product and keep going.
Oops. So remember, if you like the video, please hit the like button, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Remember, uh, check out Scott Michael's channel. He's the one that sent us that. Um, Jake is, uh, he's about sick and tired of the heat as well. Um, yeah, so. Yummy. I just want to say thank you to my honey. We've had a blast. He's been on oh. vacation. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> Today's my last day of vacation. I go back to work tomorrow after coffee. 14. No. It was oh, 14. Well, I call it 14. Yeah, 12 days. I can't wait to retire. But I have to tell you, we've had a great time. It's been wonderful. Oh, and I want to say thank you to Tom Raymond because I, um, for sodas. He gave me a place that's actually, what, not even an hour, just yeah. over an hour away from us, Lake George. What was it called? Rocket Fizz? Yeah. It's a soda store. We go over to Lake George a couple times a year. So next time we go over there, I will be getting some sodas for our Super Saturday Soda Spectacular videos. Thank you, Tom. Thanks, Tom. <laughs> All right. Whew, and Tom's in wife. I got to put the fan back on, guys, because it's hot in here. Have hey a beautiful, wonderful day, evening, and we'll see you right. Wednesday. Have a good night. Bye.